When Brock was born, um, the pediatrician came in and listened to him and they detected a little heart murmur. So they wanted us to schedule with the University of Iowa Pediatric Cardiology in the next week or so. The next day when the nurse took him back for vitals, she noticed that his breathing was a little rapid and that he was a little bit um, dusky in color. So she called in the doctors and they took a look at him again and they were real concerned so they called the flight team to come and pick up Brock and bring him over to the university. When we got to the university, Dr. Eden performed an echocardiogram on him and then he diagnosed him with the hypoplastic left heart. And so the left ventricle, which is a pumping chamber of the heart, doesn't provide enough oxygen to the rest of the body to fulfill its needs. So they sat us down with options and said, well, you could either heart transplant, do the cath, and then go on to the Norwood surgery, or just let nature take its course. And so really at that point, you know, our best option was to choose the three-phase Norwood procedure. So we decided to do that, and 13 days later, we went in for his first open heart surgery. We ended up coming back just shy of his six-month um, birthday for his next procedure. His last surgery was right before his fourth birthday, so we spent his fourth birthday at the hospital, which was incredible, if you can imagine. I mean, the doctors and the nurses and, you know, all the volunteers and the fellows, they came in, they brought birthday cake and presents, they sang him happy birthday. It was just, it was amazing. They made you very comfortable. They made you feel confident in, you know, the treatment plan, and you knew they were gonna tell you everything going on with your child. It was just unbelievable. And the nurses, they seemed like they knew as much as the doctors, they were awesome. It was a very complicated procedure that required interaction between our interventional catheterization people and the surgeons in order to identify and build a connection out of that pumping chamber. Um, and, and once that was done, he had a dramatic response to that. And that's where the, the normal Brock is now. He's able to run around, play baseball, and, and really is a, a happy, a very athletic young man. So after um, Brock's last surgery, we knew that they had done some remarkable stuff to him because his energy level was incredible. He was walking, running, you know, I never thought I'd see him run. And he took off out the door one day and grabbed the football and was acting like he was going to get the Heisman Trophy. And it was just amazing. It was like we brought home a whole different boy. The University of Iowa Children's Hospital is where miracles become reality. Changing medicine, changing kids' lives.